welcome back. Today we're obviously doing a Taco Warehouse unboxing. I, or I ordered this a few days ago. Um, finally came in and let's open it. Alright, so I ordered three dirty jigs of Taco Warehouse. Um, I ordered a beaver craw, like a sunfish warm mouth color, and obviously PB and J. Now, one of my items were on back order, and uh, the trailers I usually use Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Craws. This is in an uh, Okeechobee Craw color. These are all in a half ounce size. I've never used dirty jigs yet, but I'm really excited to use it. I've always been like kind of a striking jig kind of guy. So, this one's called Beaver Craw. It's got some black and blue on it and some green on it. Most of the uh, craws in um, a local lake I fish have a lot of uh, blue on them. So this is gonna work really good. Um, this is good for our, also my water because it's clear and PB&J just works uh, year round and it's a great color for clean water. And then obviously this because I got a lot of, uh, I mean this, this can be a warm mouth sunfish or I mean, I got this color because there's a lot of pumpkin seed sunfish in my local lake. So I think this is going to be the best jig. So I'm excited to try these out and uh, next video I'll be probably using all these up. I'll try to catch at least one fish on each one of these. I'll be using this, these trailers on this jig because it's got that black and blue and then Okeechobee craw. But I ordered, uh, I also ordered summer craw which is like a, a watermelon color, but I, I guess they're on back order, which kind of sucks. These uh, four things, including what's um, on back order, um, was uh, all around 20 bucks. So those of you who are new to dirty jigs like me, um, they have Gamagatsu hooks, which uh, are known to be like super strong. Um, I think uh, striking jigs also use Gamagatsu hooks, and those hooks are awesome. I've also used uh, Terminator jigs and they use VMC hooks. I mean those kind of bend out but I think Amagatsu is the way to go for hooks on jigs. So I'm gonna rig this one up. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig up a jig. Okay I hope I hope you guys can see this but um I'm gonna use the beaver craw to rig up so let's open let's open it up. Oh yeah that hook feels nice and sturdy Oh, it's got the uh, bait stopper right there, which I really like. Um, Terminator jigs is the same thing. I'm sure Strike King has a version that has that same uh, bait stopper. Okay, so you get your craw out. I always like to trim, so there's these little ribs on there. I always trim the top one off so it fits like perfectly on your jig. So you can either bite it or I have scissors, so I'm not going to bite it because it's really salty and I don't really like to. So you cut it on the first rib. Nice and straight, just like that. You can leave the arms, take them off, whatever. I doubt the fish care. So what I do is, I go to see where the zoom sign is. I go to where there isn't the zoom sign. And I go straight onto the jig like that. So you poke it through the top, push it. I like to push it all the way up to where the, the bait is almost um, straight on the hook right there. So then you push it up right about there, then you poke the hook through the bait, and you push it up onto the bait just like that. And there you have a pretty good looking jig right there. Alright, so I'm going to rig this up on one of the rods up there, and next video will be seeing me fishing with this. So another thing about this jig is it's got a flat head, and uh, that would be really good for it to, for skipping. You want a flat head to get a really nice skip underneath uh, uh, some laying over the water like a tree. And this just looks, looks awesome. I'm sure I'll catch a lot of fish on this next time I go fishing, which will be the next video you guys see. So I'm just gonna tie a normal knot. That's what I'm best at, so. So what I got rigged up with uh, this jig is a, I got a 6.6 medium heavy. Um, I'd usually use a heavy but I'm liking this 6.6 rod to, it's easier to flip. The 6.6 rod is obviously shorter than like a 7.4, which would be a little harder to flip, but I can flip in tight places. And um, I'm really liking this rod. I got 20 pound test uh, mono, and uh, I'm using the 
Shimano Casitas 7 to 1 gear ratio reel. I'm going to see if, I'm li if I like these jigs. Um, if I do, I'm going to buy more and they might be my go-to jigs. We'll see. Um, I should probably do a striking versus dirty jigs. That'd be a pretty good video. I might. I hope I helped you out. Stay tuned for our next video. Have a good night.